This video is going to be about Menelaus' theorem, which is a, a theorem that describes what happens when a line, such as this red one, intersects the three sides of a triangle. Uh, now, you may be looking at this uh, diagram and thinking, how on earth uh, can we reasonably talk about this red line intersecting all three sides of this triangle? Well, we do make the exception, or not an exception, but we do um, accept that we may have to extend one or more sides of the triangle to, to make this happen. So here we certainly have uh, an a, a point of intersection of this line and AB, and here we have a point of intersection between this line and BC. Uh, but if we were to extend AC, think about AC as a line rather than a line segment, then we could talk about this red line intersecting with AC somewhere out here. <clears throat> now Menelaus' theorem discusses uh, the ratios of division um, that are created with these three points of intersection. And it essentially says that the product of those ratios of division must be minus one, provided all three points are on the same line. Okay, so to prove Menelaus's theorem, we are going to relate those ratios of division uh, to three other auxiliary seg segments, segments AD, EB and CF. These segments are all perpendicular to the red line uh, and they um, pass through the vertices of our triangle. Our three points of division here are G, H, and I. G is the point where our line intersects AB. H is our point where the line intersects AC. And I is the point where the line intersects BC. So to, uh, to get our result, we actually look at similar triangles. <clears throat> We're going to look at the triangle ADG and the triangle GEB. These are similar triangles because they share all three angles. Uh, notice that both of them are right triangles because one of their sides, uh, each has a side that is equal to one of our segments that are orthogonal to the red line. And of course they share this angle uh, that are across from one another here at this intersection. And so since those two angles are the same and they are both have a right angle, the third angle must be the same, which says that they are similar triangles. So if you look at the ratio of any corresponding pair of sides between these two triangles, you will end up with the same ratio. So our ratio of division, AG over GB, um, at least when you ignore the sign uh, related to being a ratio of division, that has to be equal to AD over EB. So we put an absolute value around here to acknowledge the fact that um, although it's not the case in this diagram, um, in another triangle, point G may be outside of the line segment AB, and therefore that segment might be negative. But this on the right is merely a ratio of positive numbers, uh, and that's good enough for us. That's, that's all we really need at this point. Okay, so we have one pair of similar triangles giving us one, uh, um, one equation. Now, if we look at another pair of similar triangles, triangles BEI and triangles CFI, those are going to be similar for exactly the same reason. They're right triangles that have uh, angles that are opposite one another at this intersection. So the, ra the ratio of common parts is going to be equal. So BI over IC, which is the ratio of division that we need, is equal in magnitude to the ratio BE over CF. Finally, we look at our third set of similar triangles. We have these two right triangles here, AHD and CHF. These are right triangles that literally share this angle here, so they must be similar. <clears throat> and therefore, uh, the ratios of division uh, CH over HA must be equal to, in magnitude, to the ratio CF over AD. And that's what we get here. Now when we put this all together in the form that we need for Menelaus' theorem, we have this, this stuff on the right. These are our ratios of division. AG over GB 
times bi over ic times ch over ha. Notice that we were very careful in, in all three of those cases to start from a vertex, to go to the point of division, and then go to the then proceed to the next vertex. The, that product of ratios of division on the left hand side, if you ignore any sign considerations, is equal to AD over BE times BE over CF times CF over AD. And of course, all of these cancel out. And so all we're left with is this consideration of sign here. And so now remember, these each ratio of division is negative exactly when the point of division is outside. When it's an external division, then it's negative. Now in this particular diagram, we have one uh, external division, but we could also have all three uh, divisions being external. As it happens, you can only have exactly one or exactly three um, external divisions. So in any case, you either have one negative number here or one or zero or all three negative numbers here. And in all cases, that product will be minus. So the product of our ratios division is minus one exactly as we wanted.